you guys are in fan you pal big d back here again with another week of news announcement and this is for uh 12 29 20 and 1 5 21 we entered the new year um those of you in my channel i do this every week where i talk about what's coming out new and blu-ray and dvd and 4k for this week next week anything is majorly announced i do want to preface this one by saying i do understand this one's late again this week i don't have any excuses i've actually got like four other videos i need to post that i've filmed that i haven't put up either my excuse is I've enjoyed the holiday. Um, as you all know, um, I lost my job due to COVID earlier this year. And so um, this holiday season, the first time since I was, and this is no joke, since I was in grade school or freshman year of high school that I've actually got to enjoy the month of December. I have worked retail all my life. Uh, so obviously December is the busy month of the year. I've never got any time off and any job I've ever had. I've never got any time time off during the holidays this year. I did. I had the time off. So I enjoyed myself. I did a lot of the things that I wanted to do. I need to do everything, but I got to do some stuff that I don't normally typically get to do in the holidays. Um, certain movies I got to watch I normally miss and certain events we went out and, you know, or did, but watched and, you know, and just listen to music and stuff like that. I don't normally do that stuff. So it's a different night of year. And because I did that, this all stuff fell to the wayside. So I apologize for that. I am back now. Um, so let's get started here. I'm sorry about the little caveat here. So this week there was pretty much nothing. You had three movies. You had Honest Thief with Liam Neeson, Blu-ray DVD. You have The Last Shift, um with Ed O'Neill from Mary Children fame. Um, and then you have A Night in Casablanca, Marsh Brothers, uh, Blu-ray. That was it for this week. There was literally nothing. The only one you'll even be able to find on the shelves is Honest Thief. Uh, you'll have to order the other ones. For next week, there's not much more, although there is a couple of titles that are really cool. Uh, let's see, next week we do have Love Love and Monsters, which is coming on 4K, Blu-ray, DVD. I don't know about it. I don't think it's just deal, but... That was a really good movie. I saw it a little bit earlier this year. I really liked it. Thought it was really good. Stars the guy from Maze Runner. Really enjoyed it. Interesting premise. Um, the whole world's been basically ended up being taken over by these mutated um, like animals and stuff like that. It was really cool to watch. It was kind of like a, kind of a post-apocalyptic movie with Jurassic Park linked into it a little bit. So um, I really enjoyed it. It was a good movie. That does come out next week. We also have Savage Streets coming out next week. And then Ten Torera, which is another uh, shark movie, which, of course, I'm going to get it. And then the last one being The 100, The Final Season, which, speaking of The 100, I have been watching that. I'm on the last season. They finally put it up on Netflix. So I can watch it. I have watched this year. My brother-in-law and I sat down at the beginning of the year and started watching The 100 because I was always really curious about it. I have to say it's a really good show. Um, I, both my brother-in-law and I have really enjoyed it. It's been a lot of fun. Um, interesting premise. Um, it kind of, it's gone away from the initial premise that it was in the first couple seasons because they're now on a different planet, but it, it's it's been a really good show. I really do enjoy it. And on a side note, if you ever do watch the show, and I do recommend watching it, the main character in the in the show, her, her name is Clark. And they must say her name, no kidding, because my brother-in-law and I came up with a uh, drinking game for it. They say, Clark, you gotta take a shot. And there is sometimes we counted like 19 times they say Clark in an episode. It's like, holy cow. We didn't do shots for all those. But I mean, it's a fun show to watch. It, it's really good because the whole premise is that Earth, there was a nuclear catastrophe on Earth. Um, a bunch of people went up to, uh, into space and we're, gonna, we're living in space for I don't know, like 100 years, something like that, waiting for Earth to be re-inhabitable re again. The space station is starting to be just, it's starting to fall apart after so many years. So they send down these 100 kids, they're like teenagers, down to the planet because they're being punished for doing bad things. But really, realistically, they're being sent down there to see if it's habitable again. And it's the people actually on Earth that survived that whole calamity. And it's actually a really good show. I really do highly recommend it. That off my soapbox now. And then um, announcement-wise, let's go into announcements. Announcements, uh, nothing. There was le literally nothing that I could find of any kind of substance or note. Um, a couple small, you know, like unknown titles and stuff I've never heard of before, but there was nothing of note at all. So kind of usually typically happens the week of, of, of New Year's. Um, so that is it. This is a quick one. I'm telling you, there's not much more to it. Be on the lookout. I did film. I have my horror pack still coming out. There's still another Dollar Tree video coming out. There's two more reviews from Cobb coming out. I have my top 10 movies of 2020 coming out. And I do have, now it's, 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 
it's a video where we, where we talk about my favorite releases of 2020. So they may have not necessarily movies that came out that year, but these were the releases that came out in 2020. And my favorite, the ones that I got, I was so excited about, and I loved part of my collection. So I, I got a couple of videos, uh, those two videos coming out as well. They should be all coming out over the course of the next week. I basically wanted to do this, more or less do this video just to wish everybody here, all, all the Big D fans, all the people you guys have held through with me all this crazy time and all my videos, just want to thank you guys all so very much for watching this video. I want to, I want to wish everybody a very happy new year. Hopefully this year will be a lot better than 2020 was. Not to say 2020 was the worst year in the world, but to be honest with you, it wasn't the best. So, um... I, I, again, I want to thank you guys all for watching and stick with me through all these crazy times. Be on the lookout for more stuff coming out soon. Um, please, everybody, be out. Uh, please take care and be safe out there. I know in my home state, this new version of the virus has popped up here, which is putting everybody in panic mode. So um, just please be safe out there. But always keep hunting because you know what? You never know what you're going to find. Everybody take care. Be safe. And as always, live long and prosper. Bye.